Captain, the starbase is reaching critical mass. Its destruction is imminent. Target the runabout and lock on a tractor beam. Try and pull them out of there. It's no use, sir. There's too much interference coming from the nebula. Ma'am, we've been able to establish partial communication with runabout. Hail them, Commander. USS Launcher, this is the USS Kent. Request immediate assistance. Lieutenant Edwards is dead. Our engines have failed and landed on critical. I repeat, request immediate assistance. Captain, at its current speed, the runabout will not be able to escape the explosion in time. Bridge to transporter room two. Log on to USS Thames and beam Lieutenant Miller aboard. I'm trying, sir. There's lots of interference. Keep trying. Sir, the starbase. You allowed yourself to become a prisoner. Torak, where is General Karloth? My father has been called back to Kronos. He left me in command to deal with your failure and these Federation attack. <sighs> I told them nothing. Nothing. I did not fail you. Federation starship positions. The entire sector. Just as you asked. Get rid of him. Long live the Empire! Long live the Empire! We've arrived, Captain. Sensors identified the nebula as Class 4. Still receiving a positive lock on the tracking device. It's emanating from somewhere within the nebula. The bird of prey is definitely in there. However, that doesn't mean that the Klingon star base is in there too. Oh, it's in there, Lieutenant. I'm sure of it. There have been numerous reports of several starship disappearances within this location. The Klingons must have a base of operations somewhere in this nebula. Are we receiving any other readings from inside the nebula? No, sir. The nebula is mainly composed of volatile gases, but our sensors are having trouble penetrating the nebula at this range. Would moving closer to the nebula improve sensor efficiency? I wouldn't recommend that, Commander. The energy signatures such as the USS Longshanks would stick out like a sore thumb. Any Klingon bird of prey lying in wait for us would have no trouble locking onto us. See if you can triangulate the position of the tracking device. We might be able to get a better fix on its position. It's working. I'm reading a new position on the tracking device, now placing it just outside the nebula. On screen. Magnify. There goes our chance of finding the starbase. Have the body beamed aboard and inform sickbay to remove the tracking device. Looks like we're going to have to do this the hard way. Helm, prepare to move us into the nebula. Thrusters only. Captain, I might have an idea. Feel free to share it with us, Mr. Edwards. A ship as big as USS Longshanks won't be able to pass into the nebula undetected. But a smaller vessel, such as a runabout, would have no problem slipping in unseen. I suggest we take the USS Thames into the nebula to search for the starbase. That's a class four nebula, Lieutenant. Shields won't work in there. One direct hit from a disruptor and you'll be blown to smithereen. I'm aware of the risks, Commander. But if we do find the Starbase, we'll be able to transmit the coordinates back to the Longshanks. That way we can bombard them with torpedoes from a distance. I would rather not be responsible for the death of thousands of Klingons, Lieutenant Miller. Although the coordinates of the Starbase could be useful in negotiations. Surrender or be destroyed. I'm sure even Klingons would understand that. My thoughts exactly, Commander. Very well. Do it. Thank you, Captain. Miller, 
You with me? I'll be in sick bay to see if the doctor can learn anything from the autopsy of the Klingon prisoner. Captain, message coming in from Starfleet. They say reinforcements are on their way. They should be arriving soon. Reinforcements? I didn't request any reinforcements. They say that this is a delicate situation and they're sending a special task force to help with diplomatic relations with the Klingons. This is the Thames. We have disembarked, setting course for the nebula. Understood. Keep your eyes open in there. Entering the nebula in five seconds. Sensors are beginning to fluctuate, attempting to compensate. Shield draw flight too. We have entered the nebula. The gases are creating ghost energy sources everywhere. I mean, I can't tell if they're coming from a ship or a cloud. Try narrowing the sensors to look for traces of geranium. It might help us locate their hull. I'll move us in a bit further. They're out there somewhere. Target disruptors. Negative scan again. This is probably going to take a while. Do you want to play cards? Oh, what the hell was that? I think we've been spotted. Evasive maneuvers. Looks like we've got a bird of prey directly astern. We ain't gonna survive this very long without any bloody shields. Well, I'm not going down without a fight. Transferring power to weapons. Hopefully their shields don't work either. Target system's not responding. The nebula's affecting them. We'll switch to manual. Aye, sir. Direct hit. We disabled their port disruptor. Good. Good job. Trying to disable their other one as well. Hopefully they'll have nothing to hit us with. Aren't you forgetting about their torpedoes? I mean, without any shields, it's only going to take well, a while. I can try and adapt the tractor beam to deflect some of the torpedoes. It should give us some breathing time, but only for a little bit. Signal all ships to leave the area now. Captain, I'm reading weapons fire coming from within the nebula. Sounds like Lieutenant Edwards found the starbase. Red alert, Commander Stoven to the bridge. I think I have a fix on the runabout. She's pretty beat up. Reading disruptor hits across her hull. Can you hail them? There's a lot of interference. I'm also getting a massive power buildup within the nebula. It could be the starbase, but I think its core is on the verge of collapse. Captain, the starbase is reaching critical mass. Its destruction is imminent. Target the runabout and lock on a tractor beam. Try and pull them out of there. It's no use, sir. There's too much interference coming from the nebula. Ma'am, we've been able to establish partial communication contact with runabout. Hail them, Commander. Captain, at its current speed, the runabout will not be able to escape the explosion in time. Bridge to transport of room two. Lock onto USS Thames and beam Lieutenant Miller aboard. I'm trying, sir. There's a lot of interference. Keep trying. Sir, the Starbase. Transporter room two, report. Did you get him? Don't quite once, Captain. I'm here. Safe sir. What happened, Lieutenant? Your orders were to report the locations of the Starbase, not destroy it. Sorry, Commander. We were ambushed by a bird of prey. The Starbase was caught in the crossfire. Lieutenant Edwards was killed while trying to make our escape. Very well, Lieutenant. Report to the bridge. Do our sensors still get any reading on the Klingon Starbase? Has it been completely destroyed? Yes, sir. The resulting blast incinerated everything within the nebula. 
It's unlikely anything would have survived. Sir, three Klingon birds of prey are exiting the nebula, and they're heading right for us. Then again, maybe not. Station. The Klingons are taking up attack positions. Hail them. No need to, sir. They're hailing us. It seems the Klingons want to talk to us. Let's see what they have to say then. On screen. Greetings, Federation Captain. I am Captain Torak, son of General Karloff. Now I suggest you leave the system before another of your precious ships is destroyed. Captain Torak. You and the rest of your crew are under arrest for numerous acts of piracy against the Federation. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. <laughs> it is unwise to threaten the Klingon, especially ones that are both friends. Three against one? Those are nasty odds. Captain, let's keep things peaceful. Surrender and I shall show mercy to you and your crew. An interesting proposition, but I'm afraid I must decline, because I have also bought friends. Captain, two Klingon Vortar class battlecruisers have just decloaked. As you can see, we are not alone. Uh, what is the meaning of this? Reinforcements, Captain. After learning about our mission, the Klingon High Council were more than happy to send a couple of ships in to assist us and bring your traitorous band to justice. Now, Captain, let's keep things peaceful. Surrender and I shall show mercy to you and your crew. Uh, very well, Captain. You may have this day, but know this. The Empire will never become puppets. What happened? The Vachars, sir. They fired on the Klingons without even a warning. I don't understand. They were surrendering. The Klingons don't take prisoners, it seems. Hail the Vorchers. Too late, sir. They're warping out of the system. Their trajectory suggests they're heading back to Klingon space. Stand down, red alert, and dispatch a subspace message to Starfleet. Let them know what has happened. If you don't mind me asking, sirs, when was I going to be told that we had two Klingon battlecruisers armed to the teeth hiding right next to us? Sorry, Lieutenant, but we couldn't risk the Klingons finding out of our elusive tongue. Commander, could you make the arrangements for Lieutenant Edward's funeral? I'll get on it right away. Good. Also, has the Doctor found out any information from our Klingon prisoner? The autopsy is still underway, but we have learned one thing. The Klingon prisoner isn't Klingon. He's Romulan. Romulan? Helm, take us out of here. Warp 2. Aye, sir. friend with a common enemy. 